Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praise, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Occupants, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. And today's lesson is going to be kind of, of a response to a video I stumbled upon, right? Because I just did a, well, I didn't do a video. I reposted a video that I found, which was on uh, uh, TikTok. And I titled the video Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10, which was about uh, uh, so-called uh, mixed woman, but she was really the nigger woman. She was an Israelite woman. And she had her child and some other people at some Waffle House in the South, and they was, and she claimed that they was threatening her uh, with, noose, with nooses and hangings and all this shit. And I posted it, you know, and I got a, a decent uh, response. A lot of brothers putting up scriptures. But there's this one guy, some guy named Bishop Melchizedek, all right, and he said, this hate no value at all, right? So I was like, all right, whatever. Maybe he's just a scoffer. I clicked on this page, and, uh, you know, he actually do videos, you know, because usually most scoffers don't do videos. But anyway, he said it had no value at all value at all and i posted that video uh and titled it titled that for a reason right and other people understood it but this person didn't understand it but the point of this whole why well, i'm going into this is because i want to i was looking through his videos and i clicked on one uh which was this one which was straight to the point and uh out of all the random ones that you know that he had it says, Yahweh word is consistent. Two thirds will not be reborn through the one third. So I was like, let's see what this guy's, you know, what, what is he talking about? And I listened to the video and uh, <laughs> and that's why I want to get into it to bring out the precepts, because this guy, he's going off, man. That's going he's going off. But I'll play a little bit of the beginning of the video. And then I'll get into the scriptures uh, to prove the point that. The teaching of the teaching of the uh, one third, right? The two thirds are, you know, the wicked of Israel coming back uh, is in the scriptures. And, and one of the main things you got to understand is reincarnation. All right. Which I don't think this guy really uh, understands, man. And the spirits that uh, Yahweh has created. Right. The spirits, that energy is not going to be done away with. All right. It's going to be they're going to come back. With the understanding based on the covenant. All right, and that's what I'm gonna go into. Uh, but let's play this without uh, further ado. Shalom, Yashara Allah. Shalom, Yashara Allah. Kahal all Yahweh. Bashim. Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Bashim Rikakadash. I'm back to you with another straight to the point moment. And just dealing with all the studies that I've done over the past few years, constantly reading, continuously studying. At every chance I get, not making an excuse, constantly going out to the streets teaching, regardless of those who are in a camp. And the guy likes to big up, if you haven't noticed, he likes to big up himself a lot. He got some, uh, you know, sound like some Hamite music playing in the back. But yeah, he's, you know, I'm constantly studying, I'm constantly going out, I'm constantly doing this, I'm constantly doing that. Which is good, good, good. But you still should be uh, not pushing any kind of uh, false doctrine either. Let's continue. Or even alone, just teaching gathering with whatever brother or group I can with to go out and teach and do the work as they did in the book of Acts. All right. And you know, I've, I've always heard this doctrine of brothers saying, well, the one third in, in, the, in the righteous, the, the one third in the elect, the 144 are going to bring back the wicked, the two thirds. And the more I read scripture, I'm just not seeing that. So before I even get into it, I'm going to keep it short, straight to the point. So he's not seeing it. You can go and you can go read. You can go watch this video if you want. Like he he technically knows some scriptures, but a big uh, like the foundation of reincarnation. I, I don't think this 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 guy uh, understands. And this is not doing this just because he left a scoff on, on, on a video I posted. It's because I stumbled across it. I clicked on it, and it caught my attention. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim I want to correct it. All right, that's the point of me doing this video. All right. Uh, the first scripture I'm going to get is Isaiah 60 and 21. It says, Thy people 
also shall be all righteous. All right. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands that I may be glorified. This is ultimately going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. All right. When you how about you was shy when you shy returns. All right. And, 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 and does his thing on the planet. OK. The nation of Israel will be set up again. All right. We all know which if you watched the guy's video. He kept talking about the elect, the remnant, which we, we teach and we push. They are going to be saved. The ones that repented are going to be uh, receive salvation. But the, the ones that are wicked of the nation of Israel, guess what? They're going to taste destruction and judgment. But that's not going to be it for them. They're not going to be done away with. They're not going to be in hell. They're going to come back uh, in the kingdom. All right. Regardless if that guy believes it or not. You see, let me keep reading. A little one, this is Isaiah 16 and 22. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Right. So the Lord is going to work these things, man. We're going to have to bring back the nation, right, in the kingdom of heaven because the Lord is going to get rid of a good portion of it that are not a part of his remnant. All right. And me and him agree when you watch the video, he agrees that it's just about the remnant and the elect right now. But where he disagrees is the ones, the wicked Israelites coming back. So in this scripture, who are those spirits and souls coming back? He is when you go on and listen to him, he's under the, the understanding that, oh, they're going to come back and they're going to be wicked. No. That's part of a promise that the Lord has for the nation of Israel that he's going to change our heart, man. He's going to change our mind. So when the spirits are reborn in the kingdom, you see, they're going to have the right uh, frame of mind. OK, so if your mama, your sister or your, your cousin who might not have got it on this side, who might be wicked on this side, who might be going off <laughs> right now on this side and even the man of the Lord. All right. We like I said, the only reason we're special is because you how about you how shot chose certain ones of us and he basically did what he did with abraham and, and putif right righteousness grace gift uh, you know faith these things are a gift you see like i said when the guy opened up he's like i study i go out i do this i do that as though it's all through him all right let's keep going uh let's go to the book of hebrews i think i got that this is hebrews 8 how we're going to how one shall become a thousand, how, you know, the nation is going to be uh, rebuilt. All right. Hebrews eight and ten. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. See, if the Lord power, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. Right. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. And every man, his brother, saying, know the Lord for all, right? All of Israel, even the ones that died on this side, who was wicked on this side, right? When they are born again, when the spirit is reincarnated, which is a, a, a huge chunk of this thing of understanding, when they are re reincarnated, guess what? Those souls are going to be born under what? This covenant, the covenant of the Lord putting the laws in their minds and in their hearts. You see? It's Hebrews 8, 11 again. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. All right? So this is going to happen in the kingdom of heaven when it is set up. So just because you don't understand it <laughs> doesn't mean it's incorrect. And that's something that I learned coming up in this truth is early on, I would hear certain things and I and I admit it to myself, man, I, maybe I just don't get it. I'm not saying just because I, I don't personally understand it, that it is a wrong teaching or a false breakdown. Right. And later on, as I grew in the spirit and understanding, oh, I see why the elders did it that way. Oh, I see why the apostles taught it that way, because the understanding uh, finally came. You see. Uh, what am I going to grab next? Uh. Let's go into just a real quick scripture on reincarnation, because that's a that's a vital point of this thing. 
All right. Those spirits that are off right now. Uh, under his. Uh, what he believes. Two thirds will not be born through the one third. He thinks those spirits are going to be destroyed or be trapped in some kind of hell or whatever. That's that's completely off, man. Right. Let's go to uh, Psalms 104. And uh, 29, thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die. What is this talking about? This is talking about the Lord, man. All right? And return to their dust. He pulls out that spirit, that soul. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. He's recycling these spirits. This is what this thing is saying. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works right so from there let's go to ecclesiastes 12 and 7 it says uh then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it so when you read the scriptures even if you take certain stories even about saul and i believe it was the witch of endor uh he was being wicked he wanted to know uh, Saul wanted to know why Samuel or wanted to seek Samuel or pull up Samuel to understand why the Lord wasn't dealing with him anymore. And what did Saul, <laughs> what did Saul from the spirit, what did Samuel from the spirit world say? He told Samuel that him and his son was going to die and they were going to be up there with him. All right. So and when you read in Job, you understand that when somebody passes and when somebody dies, all those souls, those spirits go up to who? The most high who gave it in the spirit world. And they're in their right minds. They're at peace. All right. They understand. You see, that's a part of this new covenant. When we finally get that download of the laws in us uh, as the as the prayer as uh, as in heaven will be done on earth. Right. The Lord is going to is going to do that, man. All right. So those people that passed, that died, that was out there, that wasn't in their right mind, they're going to return, right, underneath that covenant in their right mind. Okay? That's what's going to happen uh, in the kingdom of heaven. These spirits are going to be recycled. So the Lord is taking back these wicked spirits, what, to take them up there and just keep them up there? They're not going to come back? You see? It says the spirit returns unto the Most High who, who gave it. Why didn't it talk about he why would he bring Saul, uh, you know, up there with Samuel and Samuel was a, a righteous prophet. Why wouldn't he just destroy Saul's spirit because he was uh, wicked? See, you know, you know, this guy was, you know, <laughs> trying to make a point and everybody want to be a teacher. But uh, you, you're missing some key points, man. You're missing some key points, my man. Let's keep going. Let's go to. Uh, I don't make this. I don't want to make this too long because it's not. Uh, it's really not that complicated all right because there's even another scripture that talks about uh you know some waking up to everlasting life and some waking up to a, a shame and contempt it's going to be a uh, you're going to know who the elect and the righteous were and the ones that were saved and the ones that are, that are going to be in the, the positions of power in the kingdom of, of yasharala you're going to know that and you're going to have everybody else. Everybody else is still going to be an Israelite. Everybody else is going to be following the laws because they're going to be under the, underneath the covenant. But those same spirits are going to know in the back of their head. Hey, <laughs> when I was on the earth in that time, I wasn't right. But right now, you know, through the mercy of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, I got it now. We're in the kingdom. And this is an everlasting kingdom, you know, under Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's the point. Uh, let's go to. I get this one. This is Romans eleven twenty five. For I would not, uh, uh, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, that ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Right, and this is gonna. Ultimately, all Israel is going to be saved in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, let's go to. I believe we only got one more. Let's go to the book of uh, Revelation. 
20 and uh, 20 and 6. Let's go straight to the point. It says, Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. On such, right, the second death have no power. And we know the second death is going to be by that fire, man. The first death was by water in Noah's time, but the second death is going to be fire in these times. So the ones that are have awakened, right, the chosen, right, the, and have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will not take place, all right, will not, uh, won't have judgment in the second death. But the others, two thirds, as he put it, uh, right, those individuals will take place in this judgment. That's their punishment <clears throat> right now. And boy, it's going to be hell of a, a punishment. But after that punishment is done, guess what? They're going to come back under what we read in the book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter, in their right minds. Right? It says, Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of the anointed and shall reign with him a thousand years. Right? But it's really going to be an everlasting uh, reign, right? Because when you go through this, through Revelation 20, it's not in, how do I put it? Uh, it's not in, uh, like, se sequential order with these uh, with these prophecies, all right? Uh, let me read that one more time. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection, on such the second death have no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of the anointed. Meaning, uh, there's, a, there's a scripture that say, uh, you that follow me in the regeneration, right, <clears throat> will sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So when you read that, what about the wicked ones that didn't follow him? They're going to get jacked up and punished and take part in the second death. But. When push comes to shove, when it's all over with, those souls and spirits will come back through uh, through the elect, through the one third. It makes uh, perfect sense. You see? It makes perfect sense. And it all started with uh, the first scripture I, gra I grabbed was in the book of Isaiah, the 60th, cha 60th, 60th chapter and 21st verse. That people shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Right. So the Lord is not going to do away with those spirits. He's not going to destroy those spirits. These are going to be just new, uh, new spirits. Right. If they're going to be new, perfect spirits. Why even have a covenant of to why I have to put the laws and statutes, uh, you know, in you like that you see what I'm saying why have that covenant why say that if it's automatically just going to be you know he's just going to redo new spirits it's not going to work that way all right like I said reincarnation is a part of this thing all right and that's the point but I want to give all glory praises and honors to you how about you I was shy I want to say shalom next time